We're, We're live. live. Welcome back to Lost Comms, uh, everybody. It's Shane and Shane's friend. Um, very happy Hi, to I'm be here. Shane. <laughs> that was good. You suck. So- Dang, man. Dang. That was good. Um, oh, man. Welcome back, everyone. As you can see, uh, Juan and I haven't changed our shirts in two days. It's okay. Um, hey, man, my I- wife's not here. All bets are off. Yeah, dude, 100%. I'm on an airline trip, and I'm not washing the shirt. Like, mm-hmm. You know, I don't know if you guys were in Lewis and Michelle's podcast yesterday, but um, great pod, by the way. Great pod. Yeah, great incredible pod. pod. He had these two guests, dude. Funny as yeah. hell. Dude, those hot guys, bro. <laughs> Real hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then uh, Shane and Juan were there to join them, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, there were two other guys, so that joke works. <laughs> I know, dude. I had to think of <laughs> Hey, welcome back, oh, everybody. Right. This is our first uh, live stream. Uh, I can tell that we are green checkmarked on YouTube, so I think it's working. Um, I, I hope so. Yeah, if it's not, uh, go ahead and shoot me a text. For those of you that have my number, I'll be sure not to pay any attention to it. and uh, just. Uh... <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Raise your hand if you're not here. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> no. All right, good, good, good. All right. Oh, what do you say, All right, man? Uh, I just got back from work. I literally just sat down, so I'm fucking pumped to be able to do this. I was falling asleep. Hey, 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 whoa. Family show. Family show. What are we doing? Yeah. Oh, did, I, did I just curse? Oh, man. I, th- th- you, you you said that one. Like, the, the one. Oh, I like, dropped the one. You said the one, dude. Okay, my bad, my bad. Family okay. show, man. <clears throat> all right, all right. All those, all those uh, the wives and the kids out there, we're sorry. Um, we understand this. Okay, make sure we like... check this one. Not good, not safe for family. Hey, don't worry, we'll we'll cut this. We'll cut this. Uh, edit it. We're live, man. We're we can't live. be doing that. We're live. <laughs> We're live, dude. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, hey, by you the way, that that shows that you could do. I was falling asleep on my in my car. <laughs> hey, night. Great hair day, by the way. Great hair oh, day, thanks, brother. Kid. Yeah, man. You always got to get a get a great hair day. You look like oh, dude, you look like you're straight out of Final Fantasy, dude. I don't know how you do it. I don't know what that is, but I, you know, you're. You're the guy of, of compliments, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go thank you on this one. There's no way that was an insult, so thanks. No, no, no. I'll tell you about it later. Oh, oh dude, this is like okay. Sorry, we're gonna be like super off topic, but we're live. Like this is our first live this video. YouTube hooked us up, man. Um, that was super cool. Yeah, heck yeah, dude. Money, money. Those uh, those of you watching, um, go ahead, comment, post, whatever. Uh, we will do our best to respond to any questions that you got. Uh, happy to have you all on board. Yeah, it's a learning it's a learning curve. So just be patient with us on this one. If people start talking in the comments, we're probably gonna like pause and look at them because we're not used to it. Right, hundred uh, percent. But man, we're here to talk about the mega leg. I want to say it was a long time coming. We finally locked down a dub. This is a long time coming, Jeez, man. Like, dude. dude, it was right there. It was right there this whole time. Oh, Ricky and Caesar. In the oh, chat. Ricky and Caesar in the in the <laughs> chat, dude. What's up, boys? Dude, congrats, you're the first ones in the live chat. Yeah, dude, our first live comment, bro. I'm honored, dude. I and know. It's, it's the Ricky and Caesar. Literally, yeah. The yeah. team that we like ousted after the, they're like, what? Would you guys have like 12 consecutive wins? I don't know. Like on this, the like in the, watch, in the past dude. five weeks. Jeez. They somehow, somehow they have they, more wins than yeah. legs at this point. <laughs> they, yeah, they somehow like had like <laughs> they like won twice every every leg. But we proved they can bleed. They are human. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Now let's see that if was... we can keep it going. Yeah, let's dive um, into it. What do you say? All right. Uh, yeah. So mega leg. It was as exhausting as it looked. This was an all dayer. Uh, double the roadblocks. Double the detours. Let's see. Uh. Ricky and Caesar are getting shout outs in our comments. That's how good racers they are. It's <laughs> Flyboy, man. Don't mind the Lost Com show. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> like, give us a shout, man. Like, come on now. <laughs> oh, man. All the love to Ricky and Caesar. We, hey, we love those boys. Uh, right, but, welcome you know. to the chat. Thanks for the heads up. Oh, all my right, two dude. favorite teams. All right, we'll take, yeah. we'll take it. There you go. There you go. Uh, okay, cool. Cordoba, Argentina. My wife is Argentinian. My, like, you know, Wait, my what? father in law, my mother in law. We Cordoba? went to Cordoba, dude. Yeah, I'm, sure, I'm sure you're saying it right. <laughs> I'm sure that's the pronunciation. Um, how did I expect it, dude? I don't know. Argentina is so so south that I didn't expect it to be as hot as it was. But you you legit remember, like, bro? At this point, you know I think I, I was so locked in, like, to like the race. I don't remember even Puerto Vallarta after the first leg, dude. I don't. I you. I, I remember zero of the well, temperature. But the reason I remember is because I was in the car, and in the car, like the the dragster, the 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 little the freaking the cart whatever that it was hot as hell in there oh yeah so like dude. like turning around I was like dude I don't want to well, do this again we'll we'll get there because I yeah, actually yeah, do we'll the crazy thing man is like 
this race was like, right. Everything was yeah. happening so yeah. fast that like, and you're in the middle of a mega leg, dude, I, I didn't have time other than to say that no way he's getting it on the first time. Like I didn't have any, any dude, time to really so chat. Funny. We didn't have any chat, any time to chat with each other about it. So uh, this will be a, a real, real talk. Everyone, this will be the first time that you guys hear uh, Juan and I even conversing about this challenge. So, yeah, it's true. Actually, both roadblocks. I don't think really we talked about either one. No, no, there's not, things you really. definitely don't know about the roadblock you did that I was that I hadn't told you till to, to I will today. But all right, cool. So we're getting started. We we're taking off in the first in the first group. Thank God, dude. Group <clears throat> takeoffs. You want to be in that first group. It it does it does command a certain t- a certain kind of advantage you have to be if you want to if you want to finish anywhere respectable uh you have to be it's if you're not in that first group ricky and cesar are like they can attest if you're not in that first group you're you're fighting for last like that's all you're doing is like you're just fighting for last place if you're not in the first group like yeah. for who's to not be last um flyboy so uh, why they didn't show any travels um that's a good question actually i don't know I guess maybe it's not as exciting as in commercial airlines because we're all the, getting off the same plane. Why do they? Uh, why do they show any of the actual travel, like like the moving in vehicles? Because it just consisted of Juan and I just going, "Hey, we know exactly where we are. Let's get directions, though. Hey, we know exactly where we are. Let's, hey, let's stop and get directions, though. Hey, let's. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, but yeah. So yeah, dude. Um, yeah, guys. Uh, thank everybody. Comment away. Uh, we'll uh, we'll try to get to your comments in a uh, in a, like an orderly manner. Uh, we're gonna keep the flow going, so we may uh, we see your comment, but we may get to it uh, in a little bit. So, um, we got you. yeah, we got you all. <clears throat> but so yeah, we took off in the first one. We read the clue. It said to head over to. Man, I'm blanking out already. It's been dude. A year I, so, and a half. Oh god, the uh, we went to it was either uh, Boladoras or that's uh, right. Bicicleta, uh, if I'm saying that correctly. Bicicleta. Yeah. Um, yeah. Dude, people. Okay. So I speak so, Spanish. <laughs> I speak okay, the so, second best Spanish here. That's, that's fair. Matter, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. You're the second best Spanish speaker in the podcast. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh-huh. I got a hot take on this, dude. I heard a lot on the internet about people saying, it's like, oh, these guys should have done the bicycle, the bicycle. I, I, my argument to that is Rod may have made that look easy, but that did not seem easy. Did you guys okay? Rod made it look easy. Did you guys see how Vinny made it? Made it look not dude, easy. Vinny is in stupid good shape. Like stupid. If Vinny he's was in better struggling. Shape than us. There's no way we would have gotten Every, that before. Dude, everybody's given us a lot of like a lot of praise on our physical, which we are, dude. Like, like we're we're, you, we're, we're, we're 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 yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, 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 yeah. We we do appreciate you. We're fit, but Vinny, dude, he's no, he's yeah, way more fit than us. Yeah, yeah, Vinny's extremely more agile than we are. Oh, yeah, dude, no the guy, guy, like yeah. He's he's very in very good shape, and uh, he struggled like so. D- just kind of what Juan was saying here that the Boladoras one, I'm gonna butcher it every time. Juan, go ahead, correct me. Oh, Boladoras, Boladoras, Boladoras. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> dude. You know why I'm not gonna say it? I'm gonna say it uh, the way I say it. Because honestly, if I were to try to say it like you did, I'm pretty sure I'd hurt myself. And <laughs> our number one rule here on this pod is safety first. Safety gonna, first. Th- safety first. Welcome, everybody. Safety first. Um, but the Boladoras uh, was, dude, like, we kind of were like, hey, we're both athletic. We can both, like, this is an athletic, uh, it's an athletic detour. Like, we're going to veer towards the athletic detour. Honestly, we didn't really know what the bike had in, in tail. It was like, hey, either ride the bike or or do the bull doors and we're like and i i think it might have been me that kind of like inched us in the opposite direction because when i read the clue it, what i took to, took it to mean based on past seasons was you have to go find plastic bottles to crunch up and i was like dude if we got to go around the city to find plastic bottles there's no chance we're gonna finish so i was like let's just go to where we know this is like stationary place with a challenge and the fact that it was throwing it was like a no-brainer i was like shane's gonna get this no problem and then he's gonna help me get it and we're gonna move on which yeah, is exactly what happened and that's a, dude. That's exactly what happened. Yeah. And we and we <laughs> do. And you smoked it, man. Like, and I know because like like you're not. Yeah, you were killing you, it. on the throwing stuff. Like you smoked it. Like even though you went through the first ten, uh, I think. Uh, okay, so so hold on. We'll, we'll get there. So we so we we make our way there. Uh, we get there second. Yeah, yeah. Ricky and Caesar, right? Shocker. So Ricky, Ricky and Caesar are the challenge already, dude. <laughs> Like everybody's given, I, I'm listening to other pods, which uh, all these amazing race pods, super awesome. Like oh, yeah. Purple Pants, the uh, the, uh, the pit stop. What other ones? Oh, the um, uh, there's one on the Apple Purple Pants on racers Apple pit stop. pods. It was the 33 specialist. minutes today. The specialist, like all your pods yeah. are like super awesome, super yeah. entertaining. Yeah. Like, 
thank y'all so much. But listen to these guys, and they're like, oh, yeah, like, Danny is the, the navigator. It's like, have you guys – have you guys been watching any of the race? Like Ricky and Cesar teleport. They don't. They don't take a map. They teleport. They go. That's where we need to go. Boink, and they go. We're gonna get to this, but we beat Ricky and Caesar a couple times in challenges, and then we got to the next challenge. Second. And who else but Ricky and Caesar right there? And we're telling Who's you right now, guys. Are... We're telling you right now. Juan and I are good at navigating. Like we're good. Those dudes are and people... and a Garvin, Garmin for sure. Like everybody's probably like everybody's probably like. Well, then why are you showing up second? It's because. Um, essentially we weren't trusting our judgment. Like we, we, we know what we were doing. We knew where we were. We were never lost ever. We were never lost. No. Um, but we had stopped. You saw in the last episode, we stopped, uh, prior to the race cars. Uh, even though we knew we were on top, we were, we were down. A, like it was because Juan and I were down a dirt road and we were like, uh, I just want to verify. I just want to verify. Trust yeah. verify. Yeah. If we're maps, we can see your Google maps, dude. Cause holy crap. Those, uh, yeah, you two are studs, man. Like, yeah, they're absolute studs at the navigating. So, yeah, Danny's very good at navigating, but Ricky and Sister, man, they haven't, they haven't missed. They've yeah. just, they don't get enough credit for that part of it. They've just been connecting. And, and I will say the nav, I mean, I would argue to say that the nav is like 70% of the race, man. Like, oh, if yeah. you're not getting the nav, like, it doesn't matter how good, how, how fast you're knocking these challenges out. Right. So, so, yeah, obviously they beat us there. They, they, they're able to warm up a little bit before we do, but we eventually show up. Yeah. Yeah, dude, we showed up and and uh, it was kind of exactly what we were expecting. Because I yeah. think in the clue it said throw, right? And we're like, yeah. got it, right? Yeah. And I, I mean, I, I had a good time doing it. Uh, Shane again, like then they don't show this. They don't show this a lot, but Shane, Shane like was a little quicker to pick it up. But fortunately, he 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 wasn't like getting frustrated with me not getting it as often. Uh, I think Shane, we were in and out maybe maybe thirty minutes max. I think 30 yes. is probably, you're right. I think we said this on Lewis and Michelle's pod. I think 30 minutes is maybe uh, maybe a stretch. I think it was probably closer to the 20. Ricky and Cesar, you guys were there. Uh, and you guys were there before us. Do you remember how long we were there for? I want to say it was probably like 20 minutes. I, but I don't, I don't remember. God, you know. It's, it was very similar. I think we, we were there almost like maybe a five-minute difference between us. Yeah. So, so and, yeah, and Ricky. Yeah, the was huge. This was so. This was the thing that kind of. Uh, this is this was the biggest factor, right? Okay, so uh, so one. I think you went first. Yeah, 20, 25 minutes. So we were we were ballpark, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. So the Boladoras, we were the, the cow was moving right, and I think what we initially struggled on. Do you remember what you were struggling with? Do you remember? I think I was aiming too low. No. What was it? I wasn't aiming Dude. where it was going. No. So th- like. The cow was moving and it would yeah, yeah, start yeah. from and it would be left to right. And mm-hmm. so as soon as that cow got like within uh within your like reach, like as far as like like it would be the furthest your max range, right? You would try to throw at oh, it. Oh, that's right. Remember, yeah, and remember, yeah. and if you listen to the to the race, you hear me say, Hey Juan, wait on it, wait on it, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah it's yeah. gonna move closer and closer, closer. You, yeah, it wasn't in the pocket. I kept making it harder for myself. Yeah, completely right. But dude, it took it took you one time of of doing that, and then you smoked it. Like once, I think you got it. I got it in three. I think you got it in four. I think it was your very next throw, like your first throw. Shit, dude, I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> I I watched it back. I watched the race back, and I'm pretty sure it was four, man. Like I got it in three, and then we have seven remaining, uh, and then you got it on the fourth throw, and, and then we're out of there. And then Ricky and Caesar are watching. Is they're like, do you think it's enough of a head start for them? Okay, yeah, let's yeah. Go. All right, now let's yeah, go. You yeah, get it those, both, and yeah. they're off. And I'll talk to the race. <laughs> Those boys are like, all right, this is probably the, like like this is going exactly as we planned. This is going to be good for TV. You know, let them get a little head start, and then we'll, we'll just chase them down. You know, <laughs> those boys are playing the long game for the fans. Oh yeah, uh, right. Shane, where do you live in the Upper Peninsula? You don't live in the Upper Peninsula. I right? do not. You, you just hunt there. That's correct. Yep, I, I responded to the wrong uh, the wrong message the other day. I don't live in the UP. I just I just spent some time in the big woods up there. So. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, dude. So we got we got done with the uh, the Bulladors, and now we're going to uh... to the carts, which was like thirty minutes away. Like yeah, was, like we could have gotten lost and not known it. Far, far. Like it, it, as a matter of fact, it was off the map. So they gave you a map. Uh, like it was self drive, self map. Uh, but it was off the map, and so I'm drawing directions on the map, uh, and that's why why we had to stop. Um, 
maybe if we picked our head up and looked outside more, maybe there were signs because Ricky and Stace are like, they're like, there it is, right? And they saw a big right. sign. Maybe we were on top of it, but like, but I wanted, I wanted directions, like left, right, yep. distance. I wanted directions. That's that's how we were now. And so we stopped and got we got directions. And then and then comes my favorite quote from the entire show, which was it flashes to us stopping for directions, and then Ricky and Caesar's car, and Caesar was like, Juan and Shane really want that first place, but we're gonna make them work for it. And I was like, Oh, dude, what a dude, freaking thing to say. I love these that. guys, these guys just knew, man. They're like, Oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. I love Let's it. say this. Yeah. And then we stop and ask for directions. And what's funny to me is that I've I I I've I've gotten like I've gotten stuck crap about like why don't you use your Spanish more? It's my first language. I speak Spanish. I would say that I'm, I'm about equivalent. Like I can, I can, I can handle Spanish the way I handle English. Um, I actually spoke Spanish most of the time throughout the race. They just don't really show it. They'll show it a lot. But I was like full Spanish the entire time trying to get us to go where we were going. Yeah. As a matter of fact, on like episode, I think it was one. It was when we were in Puerto Vallarta. We pulled over at the mm -hmm. phone store. They interviewed me uh, separately because you're doing all the talking um like he's doing all the talking to people and they come up to me and they're like shane what's going through your mind right and they want to know and so like they're uh they're on me and they're like uh and i'm like honestly uh we're in mexico spanish speaking uh i'm the nav but uh juan's kind of taking the lead here uh, be, and i'm just going to try to stay out of his way as far as communicating with people you guys just don't see that like for and so for a couple of the pods that have mentioned that i hope you guys are watching this pod get a little bit more clarification they just it wasn't a matter of what it was it was he doing it or not it was a matter of they just didn't show yeah exactly and i think i, I think caesar just has just sounds way better <laughs> caesar is in his, he, that's, he's in his environment baby yeah uh, yeah for sure. uh let me see yeah we were hungry for first dude we've never been hungrier we've never been hungrier for first oh yeah um right. but so yeah we finally get there dude and it's and we see the directions because we're gonna see already doing it so you, we we hear it we pull up we see the clue who's no not who's feeling both who's got a good sense of navigation who's got a good, a good sense of nav and <clears throat> at this point uh wanters i think i've got a couple roadblocks on him which is good uh, it's a good comfy yeah, spot to be right. in um uh just for us as a team we've explained it in the past so uh so wants up so Juan took uh, it. Yep. And so, and I, I honestly walking into it, I was like in my head, in the back of my head, I was like, I'm doing this because I was like, what are the odds they have you driving? And I was like, if they have you driving, it's very likely going to be a stick shift car. Let's just not risk it. Let's not risk I can, it. You don't think I can drive a stick, bro? You, you can't drive it as well as me. <laughs> <laughs> you could drive it super well, but I, I'd probably be more expedient about Juan, it. you're so humble, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah, yeah. Per yesterday's podcast, I'm the best at being humble. Um, <laughs> New T-shirt idea. Which, no, by the way, hey, by the way, what do you got on there? Hey, hey, funny you ask. Uh, I got the bottom is my flight suit because I just got, I just got off. Oh, dude, are you a pilot? Shut up, dude. Shut Holy up. Holy cow! Hey, everybody, I want you to go follow Juan on oh Instagram. Uh, he's a pilot, uh, protecting our, our uh, protecting the USA. He's kidding. Thank you for, thank you for your yeah, service. Yeah, go follow me on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, get, hey, let's, let's give it up for Juan. But thank you, Juan. Thank you. It's um, um, anyway, that's a sick shirt, though. Dude, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Get, get yours today. Get yours today, baby. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. If you want to you want to represent uh, cutting an avocado like a freaking sociopath, there you go. Okay. All right. You know what? Uh, I was Shane, real baby. excited. I was real excited to show everybody my shirt, too. But when you when you chop it up like that, I'm I'm, I'm out, dude. And plus, my, 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 my shirt stinks like shit. So, all uh, right. Where's your ascot? Family oh, show. You know the ascot Family thing? show, dude. Family. By the way, are you Ray, even paying attention? Or are you reading comments, man? Hey, it's Ray. Don't you I know. have him here? Uh, oh, our Ray, boy, dude, our what's boy's up? Here visiting. Ray. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh man. Uh, let's see. So oh, yeah, yeah, dude. Listen, was, you just gotta keep me honest that. on cussing, man. We're on live feed, all right? That's why I was. Dude, I didn't even notice. Yeah, I know. That's our problem, dude. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, here we go. Comments, keep us, keep us, get, get, somebody get on the bleep button. Yeah. Hey, every, uh -huh. anytime you hear one of us cuss, I want you guys to re respond in the comments, family show. All right. And, and, if, and that'll tell us that it happened. You know what Fly I mean? Navy, no chance. Fly hey, Navy. every time we cuss, somebody's got to subscribe. That's the deal. That's how you keep it. Oh, us yeah. Honest. By the way, uh, to the nine of you watching, you probably all subscribed very much. So appreciate that. But to yeah, those that are watching uh, a little later, please hit the sub button, hit the like button. It really helps us out. It helps us uh, uh, grow our, what we're trying to do here as far as the Lost Comp Show. Uh, Quick lost time to plug. Uh, let's see. We get to the car. <clears throat> I really wanted to drive. Wasn't driving. Bummer. Still going to get to ride the sick car. Uh, and it's basically, hey, you got to map out this road, this thing, <clears throat> and then you have to recreate the map of the road somewhere else. And so, I, which I took to mean we got to draw this thing. So I got better pay attention. I get in. 
we start we start rolling. I I, I I've already spoken about this to death, so I'm not really gonna get too, too super into the weeds. But basically, I picked where the sun was at, and I said I'm gonna keep referencing this this direction every time I turn, and then that way it's gonna give me a broader idea in my head of what what it's what the actual map looks like. I did it. It didn't seem cosmic, um, but obviously there was a, a, a level of disorientation, for sure, because th th that thing was rolling. I mean, it was it was really freaking fun. We get off. <laughs> <laughs> I finally go to the board. I realize it's a nine piece puzzle and I'm still like, I'm still like my head is still in the car. I was like, dude, that was so sick. And like, you hear me out loud saying stuff like that when I'm putting the puzzle together on TV. And my wife is like, dude, shut up and make them put the puzzle together. <laughs> I'm like, you know, this is recorded in the past, right? I can't do anything about it now. Um, so I was fortunate enough to have gotten it the first try. I, 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 I think I lucked out with the, with the starting, like the starting spot. And then I built from there and, and really, it says you were recreating the road, the, the route, but really it was, we're going to disorient the crap out of you and then put a nine-piece puzzle together. And if you could make that connection, it probably made it a little easier. Uh, and so, I mean, I just rolled with it and I got lucky. You know, there's nothing else to say. So it's, <clears throat> it's a ton of words. It's a ton of words, a big explanation. What Juan's really just trying to say here is, uh, you know, Juan's, Juan's a stud athlete. He's an athlete. He's an, and then here we are, you know, it's time to be uh, mentally athletic. And uh, Juan just, he goes, he goes, hey, uh, hey, Shane, I think I got this one. And I look at Cesar and I go, hey, I got it. Yeah, don't ask Shane Dude. if I'm a freaking athlete. Bro, <laughs> Juan's got the most confidence in me exactly. where he when he shouldn't have any confidence. And <laughs> I do have the confidence of Juan, too. I know Juan can do, and, and can do anything. You know what, Juan? You're pretty much, dude, you're pretty much like, like if you're – Spider-Man was my growing up hero. And, dude, you're pretty much Spider-Man, dude. Like, you know what I mean? Dinner first. Well, dude, if you, maybe if you wear some tights like he does, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen this shirt? This thing is skin tight. By the way, it fits awesome. Like, Great not for shirt. nothing, but it, it hugs the arms a lot. So if you want to look like Spider-Man, go ahead and follow the link on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Merch drop on the page. Uh, um, you can subscribe to our YouTube. Uh, follow us on Instagram. Go to the merch page. 19 bucks. Dude, nineteen ninety nine. We're not making money off of this thing. It's for it's you a few guys. cents after the nineteen, but yeah, it's nineteen bucks. Come on, we're not making any money. It's fun. <laughs> dollar here, dollar there. Uh, yeah. That's how you stay yeah. a millionaire. Um, uh, so, uh, where was I going with this? I can't remember where we were. Oh yeah, Shane um, didn't trust me whatsoever to get this done. Yeah, Shane zero trust in me. Uh, yeah, Juan's not gonna get this, which no. I was I thought was freaking hilarious watching it back. Uh, in Shane's defense, I think not doing it and just watching somebody else doing it looks harder. Like, cause remember, remember Shalisa's, uh, uh, reaction when she, when she went to go congratulate Derek. Mm, uh, oh, it was like, it was, it was like, more, oh my God, you did it. And she, it was more like a, like a congratulations. Like, 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 oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, sweetie. <laughs> then she's like, what? This is a puzzle, <laughs> dude. Hey, to be fair, to be fair, man. Like I, if I'm, I'm envisioning myself doing this. I'm not a puzzle guy, really. Like that's why that's why I want to is taking the taking the lead on has taken the lead on these kind of tasks. And like I don't know, man. I think I would have gotten it, but like I'm not a puzzle guy. As easy of a, of a puzzle as that was, like I'm not a puzzle guy. You saw and and it wasn't it wasn't like the weaker teams were struggling with this thing, man. It was literally everybody uh, but Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> I got lucky one time. The chat. Yeah. What can I say? The this leg was made for us. Yeah, and you see Spider-Man just swing it through the thing. <laughs> so I got it uh, to Shane's surprise, and we take off. At this point, we do get a break, and I have heard a lot of people talk about this. And from there, uh, we head over to the stadium. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, Estadio, right? Estadio. Estadio. Yeah, Estadio, Estadio. Estadio something. Yeah. Uh, um... But we get there, and I'm like, we're going to do soccer. <laughs> and we, we smoke the – we, we smoke – yeah, but we, before smoked, that... we smoked the roadblock. We're on our way to a, a, a stadio, and like knowing that Ricky and Stacey, it, it just didn't look like they were like on their last attempt, right? So they were going to be a minute. And we're like pulling up to the, the stadio. And we're like, all right, where's Ricky and Stacey? Like, where are they? <laughs> 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 what, 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 what are they doing? It's so funny. Where's Ricky? We must have parked in the wrong place. Ricky and Cesar's cars. Yeah. Again. I'm telling you, we expected them every time, every oh, yeah. single time. We didn't oh, even man. question that. So after after a certain extent, we're just like, yeah. The cars Up to this point in the race, they've they've been automatic. They were just like, ah, no. Um, so it was. We were definitely out of our element, being the first ones there. <laughs> uh, and so we open it up, and yeah, literally, uh, yeah. second road block. I forgot what the clue said. What, what did it say? It said, "Who wants to score? <clears throat> who wants to score?" And so I was like, "It's gonna be soccer." 
obviously this is going to be me. Shane didn't agree. <laughs> no, I didn't at all. Um, so I felt really bad about this. And I, I, I thank, uh, shout out Amazing Race. Thank you for uh, for the edit because they. I thought they did a very good job editing it because there was a very high chance that I was going to come out of this looking like a, like a bang uh, because uh, Juan's, a, you know, he's a big soccer guy. He grew up playing soccer. It's what he does. And um, the strategy kicked in, guys. For, for Juan and I, we talked prior to the race, and um, I know my limitations. Juan knows his limitations. I know Juan's limitations. Juan has more faith in me than he should. Um, <laughs> uh, that, that's pretty much how that goes, right? And um, I knew, like, I'm, I'm not the most athletic person, but put anything athletic in front of me, I can get through it. It is essentially – uh, yeah, no, I agree. Essentially, what it is, right? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not Rod, uh, Rod, Rod Gardner going in the seventh round to the, um, uh, you know, where did he go? Where did he go? Who did he go to? He went to the Chiefs. Did he get drafted by the Chiefs? I, 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 he either got drafted by the Chiefs or the Skins. No, it was Redskins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he got, he got drafted by the Redskins. Anyway, uh, the Redskins did call. Um, uh, Andy Reid also called me, uh, but. <laughs> I was something going on. What can I say? Yeah, it was a race. It was a race, is what what it was. So uh, we went on the race instead. But up to this point, uh, and still today, I'm not a professional athlete. However, I can do those things. So uh, that's why you saw a little bit of a, a little bit of an argument with Juan and I because I knew that I could get another roadblock done and probably get it done pretty dang quickly um, to where we could keep our lead. Um, unfortunately, Juan didn't get to to play soccer in Argentina. Um, I just think it was like I think I just got caught up in the moment because looking back at it, it's like they're not gonna make anybody play soccer on the amazing race. People there are people that don't know how to do it and they're just not gonna do that. So I was like, there's gonna be a niche thing to it, which if I would have thought about it, it's just I think it was just like I wanted to play soccer in the stadium. That's what it was. I, I wanted I know, to say I, I played soccer. I knew that being exactly. said it was bubble soccer, so asterisk, uh, <laughs> which is which helped a lot. But I that will say this I got up in the stadium and I saw that bubble with the jersey i said vija on it with a number 10 and i was like i hate you so much <laughs> and did i wear there. it did i wear it did i put no, it on i don't even remember was i wearing juan's jersey out there just supporting his cause like <laughs> this is for juan <laughs> i got up in the stadium dude and i was i mean i wasn't i wasn't like super upset because it made sense dude um, bull you were pissed you were i was pissed. like you were li- i literally and again, big you- shout out amazing race for this edit because i definitely was like shame better not screw this up Oh yeah, he was, he was like, like, "I will never let him let us know." I could hear him talking to the camera crew. He was like, "Yeah, we'll see if you can do it." I'm like, "Dude, it's soccer, man." I was like, "No, you're right." No, and you hey, make no quick jabs, work of it. No jabs at, at soccer. However, uh, it was the first sport I played when I was two years old. I, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I wish I could. I wish I could like chirp you on it, but obviously you played it well because you scored. So the way it works is, I think you got like what five minute windows to score. Dude, it was bubble soccer, and the funny thing, you uh, you had three minutes. The funny thing is, dude, I was I was a part of an IM league in college, like a, a bubble soccer league. Like, are you serious? Bu- yes, dude, I played bubble no soccer chance. in college. Yeah, oh. no big deal. Like, it's fine. Um, but and I was make you feel better it, in the moment. Oh no, I'll make you feel better about this. I have no business being on a soccer field uh, because before that, I was I played intramural soccer as well in college, and I broke my knee. So, yeah, you know. Oh geez, dude. Yeah. Well, I will say I definitely turned around to talk crap about you to the camera. Oh, I know you did. And as I'm doing it, I look back and you're running back. And I'm like, he got it? He got it? And I got super excited. And that, that they did show that part. But dude, first try. You they didn't reset you at all. You on the first try, you went and scored. I th- I think I ran. I'll give I'll give some kudos and some credit to where credit is due here with uh um with with soccer players in general okay i've never really played intramural like i played my, when i played intramural soccer like on an actual field i played goalie not a big runner all right don't like to run uh i think so, i ran like a half the field during the soccer thing oh my god dude i was gassed really yes. if you got knocked down i i don't remember seeing you get knocked down no man i was like I'm stuck. you're too quick with it dude just Nice yeah. feet, feet. No, no, I just punted it to get it in their zone. I didn't see that uh, because they give you, they give you the, they give you the ball. So I just, I'm not, like, I didn't really have a synergy, but I'm like, I know if I get it in their zone and like kind of distract the masses, everybody would just knock each other over, and then maybe I can just squeak in and grab the ball, and that was kind of dude weird. like clockwork. Yeah, and I think they got mad about that, and then they took it out on Caesar afterwards. Dude, I don't know, man. I don't Caesar, know. Like, dude, Caesar came and ravaged them. <laughs> dude, like the team captain comes up to him, they're like, hey. 
we just got scored on in a minute and a half. And then like, the guys are in their bubbles are like, yes, coach. He's like, that won't happen again. It's like, Dude, I, I I feel bad for the people that started after us, like Ricky Cesar. Like, Cesar, yeah. I think. Bro, but Cesar got, like, he got knocked down, like, twice, and he's like, no more. He oh, had, like, no. his karate kid moment, dude, where he got up, and he just, dude, the ball might have been on the other side, and he's knocking everybody down to get to it. I loved it. It was freaking yeah, awesome. It was amazing. Um, no pun intended. Nice. Yeah. Uh, okay, sweet. We got our clue. We're, we're the first ones out. And at this point, we still haven't seen Ricky and Cesar, and we're like, what do we do? We needed dude, a goal. Yeah. Now, now, yeah. Right. Now we're like, holy yeah. cow, dude. Like this is like, it's not, it's no longer uh, possible. It's it. probable at this point. What, what do we got? What do we got? Look at Ricky. Ricky. Say yeah, he didn't right. hold back. Yeah, no, he didn't. He freaking put in work. Um, so at this point, it's no longer possible. Like it's probable. Like we know, like we are in and out of that detour. There's nobody with, or I'm sorry, roadblock. There's nobody there. There was nobody there when we started. There's nobody there when we ended. We knew we were in first place and now uh, the hunger has turned into a drool, like a dog with a piece of meat. No pun intended, because there was, uh, yeah. No, yeah. We're, we're, yeah, we're yeah. killing it tonight. Yeah, dude, we're good, uh, man. <laughs> um, must be Friday in the air. So we get to, uh, uh, we start driving over. Uh, and and I, I don't think they, they shed enough light on this. Like, each drive can be anywhere between 10 and 40 minutes. Guys, it can be longer than that. So, dude, we so- drove. Go ahead. I think Shay's broken. <laughs> we, it can be it, it, the, the drives can be super long even in past seasons you see him drive to another country like it could be an hour up or north of you know and so like people are like oh dude like they're like when people get lost on the show like i feel like the fans are like oh don't they realize they've been driving forever it's like that that could be standard that's the but race no yeah that's the race dude it, yeah no so you're constantly if you're driving past 10 minutes you're like we got lost we're lost well let's say it's over we lost we're coming last time it's, you're always in your own head with that crap. But so we drove over. I don't know if there's anything super significant on the drive over, Shane. Do you remember anything? No, man. I don't even think we – I don't know. This one's tough because when they edit it and they show us time for directions, it's like, oh, dude, I 100% remember stopping for directions there. Uh, when they don't, it's like, oh. So we were going to – oh, no, this right. one was we're pretty – it was over the river, remember? Mm-hmm. It was across the river, and then it was like a couple streets down, and then – uh and then it was a one way, remember? And we, I think oh. we drove oh, maybe yeah. once or twice to try to mm-hmm. park. But uh, other than that, we didn't spend any time. And here we are at the ro- at the detour for, I think, five minutes, six minutes. And Ricky and say, "Sorry, get there." I'm like, "No, no way, dude!" I felt like grabbing him and be like, "Did you guys skip the bubble soccer? Be honest." Yeah, I'm like, "Hey, <laughs> hey, hey! Did they give you a freaking like like express pass and they didn't tell anybody about him? Like, like what's going on?" <laughs> Oh man, we got we got one shot to try the meats before they they showed up. But so we tried it and one time, dude. Dude, all right, listen. I'm I'm a meats guy, and I speak Spanish. Like I get a lot of these cuts I knew off the top of my head, but there was 14 of them. Like this was not an easy challenge. Yeah, it was it was apparent to me because I was letting Juan take the lead on this on this one because Spanish, like Spanish, he, he's and and guys, don't get it, don't get it corrected. Like he does not know a small amount of Spanish. Juan is fluent in Spanish; it's his first language. That's what he grew up talking. Um, so like it's not. It, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even say fluent in Spanish is is doing it justice. Like it's his first language. It's, it's right. So so he's like, I, he was like, I got it. And um, Juancho, pay attention. I was re- okay. Sorry, I was reading the comment. <laughs> it's okay. Well, we'll get back to the comments. Okay. <laughs> um. Uh, so, so like I'm letting Juan take the lead here, and then I go, um, and then I could realize that Juan is like, he he he's gotten to a point where he's like, the Spanish is no longer helping, and that's kind of when I'm like, oh, okay, it's a it's a two of us detour. I loved it when you were like, when you were like, can you tell him to like repeat this one? And I was like, I started talking to him, and I was like, yeah, no, he's using oh, me. This guy, that was that was a AI bot. <laughs> that was hilarious, dude. Yeah. I was. Like, yeah. I was like, big like, hey. amazing race having the MPC freaking read out the meets. I'm like, hey Juan, Juan, dude, um, uh, he's 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 not listening to me. Can you can you maybe <laughs> can, you, can you maybe have a conversation with him? I looked him right in the eye and I was like, hey, do you have to keep doing all of them at the same time, or can you stop? And the dude didn't break. Yeah. <laughs> Entraña, lomo, it, 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 dude. Yeah. dude right. Tapa de galda. Oh, dude, I'm remembering this stuff, dude. You were at one point. You were like connecting them to English words, and I loved it because like the words you were coming up with were hilarious. And I can't for the sake of me remember what they were. Oh, I'm glad uh, I didn't show that. Uh, real quick, you said NPC. Yeah, dude, the dude was a straight up NPC. There's nothing you could do. Shane, you know what an NPC is? No. 
Okay. It's no, it's okay. It's super nerdy. Don't don't feel bad about it. An NPC is in a video game. The player, it's called it stands for non-playable character. And it's literally all the other people you see on the map that aren't actual people and are just programmed to do the same thing over and over again. Walk oh, Ricky this and way, Cesar. That way. That's like they're just programmed to, to win like oh, the race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the program is to win. Yeah. <laughs> beat the crap out of us every be, leg of the way. one insane yeah, up to are. this point. Yeah, yeah, 100%. <laughs> Not today! Uh, Not today, boys! <laughs> Let us have our moment. Uh, did you have trouble getting the steps to the route info? You didn't. You, so it's a look over the city. You don't see it from the road. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Remember, yeah. remember, we had to stop in the park because we made it yeah. to the park. And then we're like, we drove. We did a couple laps and we're like, dude, where the hell is this place? Gosh. You have to get out of the car and run Family in show. that direction. Family show. Well, I need you to start calling me on this. Bro, I, I'm hearing nothing. I'm hearing absolutely it's nothing. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Side effect of military life. Family show. Uh, let's see. The Amazing Race NPCs. Yeah, that dude. But yeah, anyway, back to it. This dude was not. This dude didn't even, like, flinch. This dude was da da oh, yeah. da da again. Da 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 da. I don't think he was real. He was, he was absolutely was a bot. He was, he was absolutely, absolutely, yep. absolutely a bot. Yeah. I, it's like the uh, uh, the guards, you know, the British guards. Like, you could go oh, up to him like, and just, yeah. like, slug them in the face and they won't do anything. I'm pretty sure if we, like, if we hit him, like, he would have just been like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was frustrated enough to freaking try. I'm like, hey, hey uh, excuse, sir, hey, uh, hey, sir, hey, I'm not up. trying to be rude. Sir, sir! <laughs> <laughs> Ron, you talk to him. He's not answering me, man. <laughs> I kind of knew he was going to do that, too. I was like, I'm not. I don't have my hopes for this. We went and we tried it once. We came back. We see Ricky and Caesar. Uh, real quick, rewind. Uh, there's, no, there's absolutely no chance we were doing that fingerprint. Big shout out to the fans. I know you wanted to see it done. It was not going to be done by us, dude. There was absolutely not, zero not chance. Not one chain. Do that. Not one chain. Mm-hmm. Dude, if it was one chain, I was probably going to go um, go to the local convenience store, buy a pack of Luckies, and sit there and smoke on while Juan was uh, <laughs> while Juan was doing it. Because I, I, you know, no, 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 no. Do they compare the fingerprints? Are you crazy? I've been running all day. I'm not. I'm not going to sit there and look at this. No chance. Oh, but Juan. Uh, you guys are really good at attention to detail. Your pilots. It's like, yeah, I don't want to though. I don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah. It's not about what we're good at. It's about what we no. want to do. Yeah, I don't want to do any of that. No. Um, let's, let's go look well, at some meat. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people asked if that meat stunk. Uh, I don't remember stinking. I think we were there like remember. early enough that it wasn't. Maybe in the later teams. I don't remember. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't remember it. I don't remember. I just it just it was just it was like it was dry enough that like it wasn't it wasn't really like doing its thing so, yet at least. So we 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 get. We get one swing on it, and we're like, dude, we need to go back. Here's where I am extremely grateful that we were in the front of the pack because I did not realize in the clue. I Dude, did you get that detail out of the clue? I didn't no either, chance. man. Like, no bro, so like, so we go back. We, we, we hear it again with Ricky and Cesar. We go back. We try it again. It's a no. I'm like, dude, I think one more time we'll be, we'll be solid. Uh, maybe you said – I think you even said that to me. Like, we need to go back one more time. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, it was just, and, and I, it was, it was our world, you know. It was you, your, yours, mine, Ricky and Caesar's world. We were just going back and forth, just doing our thing. Yeah. It, it never became an issue for us. Uh, the one thing where I got really petty about, which they, they kind of showed it, which I thought was really funny, was we tried it the first time, went back, Ricky and Caesar are there. They go to try it. We're right behind them to try it. Ricky and Caesar take the center table, and I yeah, they took in, our table, the one that I'm we were so, using. I'm like so petty about it. I was like, they took the table, dude. What the heck? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, here, here's actually something, because I was upset about that, too. Here's something that kind of played a factor. Light. Here's the thing that kind of played the factor. We walked in. No, it didn't play the most light. Dude, it was different cuts of meat at every table. So even though oh, the yeah. meat was like this, the same, called the same name at every table, it looked different. It did, like, yeah. the, you know what I mean? And it so, was like, so much they easier just, to identify. They took our table and we were like, mm-hmm. shit, all the work that we just did. Crap. <laughs> All right, somebody subscribe right now. Family, family show. Family show. <laughs> um, Juan, can you please just, just tell me just family being... show? It's not registering when I say it. Shane, so listen. Tell... Stop cursing, bro. Say. We want the kiddos to see it. It's a family show. Family show. Nice, wholesome. Nice, wholesome family show. Baby. Thank you, Maya. Thank you, Thank Maya. You, Juan. The cut looked completely yeah, different. They, they yeah, look Ricky, completely thanks. different. Yeah, they look different. For sure. So all, the progress, that, all the progress that we had just put in up to this point is now gone. Because Ricky and Cesar, the bots of the Amazing Race, just took our ding table. <laughs> oh my God, the Amazing Race, the, the the winner NPCs, the winner NPCs, those uh, every single leg. Um, NPCs, it's hilarious. Uh, but 
So, okay, cool. So, yeah, we got there. We Dude, figuring it out was huge. I was not – I was maybe 85% sure on that check. I was like, let's just get a check, dude. We're, we're, the dude is not going to tell us what's wrong. Or tell Demonetize. Me Demonetize. <laughs> Demonetize. Ray, you, you get this. this yeah. Business, brother. <laughs> yeah. Is that a thing, actually? like Because, like, if so, YouTube, uh, mom, dad, family's out there. Sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sophia, if you're YouTube. watching this, it's way past your bedtime. What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Beckham, you don't know what's going on, so I can still curse around you. It's fine. Uh, one of these days, Tony's going to be like, hey, that's enough. By the way, shout out wives. Big shout out wives. Big shout big out wives. Shout give him a big shout out this episode. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we do. We, yeah. we got the first one in. Mm-hmm. By the way, up to this point in the race, we've been talking about the wives every episode, yeah. multiple times. Yeah. Multiple times. And then, like, and we were like, why like, man, I wish the ladies got, you know, more, more airtime and they got it. <laughs> Hell yeah. We're going to take the wives wherever they want with this money. Uh, and my, I think my wife still had the audacity to like, because it was on the phone. My wife is currently visiting some family. So we're talking, we're watching it on the phone and she also, she still had the audacity to let out a comment like, well, that's cool, but it's not Singapore. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I guess I'm getting new golf clubs then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love her. I love you, Julie. Uh, that's fun. Um, yeah. So, uh, okay. Yeah. So we got the meet, obviously. And then we, we unbeknownst mm. to us, but we expected it as such. Ricky and Caesar got it right after us. Yeah. Uh, and, I don't think and, there was any overlap and, between us and the other teams, right? Like on the way back own? to the car. Yeah. Like, no, there. no, no, no. We didn't see any other teams. We knew that we knew that we were leaving in first place. Um, but up to this point, like Juan and I aren't, and, and I think this is what happened on this leg, to be honest. I think Juan and I knew leaving in first place that we were, we were, we were solid on the nav. We were second guessing ourselves like up to uh, every turn. We were not every turn, but like we would drive five, 10, 15 miles, be like, yo, let's make sure we're on track, even though we knew exactly where we were. However, now we're leaving in first place. We know Ricky and Cesar aren't going to give us very much time. And so we're like, okay, like w- we're going. We know where we're going. And I, I, what they didn't show is our navigating, uh, navigation tactic at this point, which, dude, like we were so on top of it. Like it was, it wasn't Shane navigating it was Juan and Shane navigating like yeah yo Juan really every nice, right? every time you drive past a road name I need you to call it out he's like all right I'm driving past uh uh you know whatever yeah so and so road I go okay so and so road next road's gonna be uh you know Meredith road okay here's Meredith on my right I'm like okay next road you're gonna see is gonna be and they didn't show that and I'm like man that is a because like we were so rock solid at our nav and like now everybody and this has been all season really everybody's like man you know Juan and Shane they don't really know where they're going. It's like, dude, like, yeah, we do. We know exactly where we're dude, going. Dude, yeah, it was. I mean, and it's hard when you're compared to these freaking juggernauts, dude. Ricky sees it. Ricky's like, we got to go to the stadium. Caesar's like, okay, let me pull out my phone real quick. Uh, Cool, stadium. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Somehow that he's legal to have on the race, yeah. His, but he's just looking at the palm of his hand. He's just like, okay, that's where we go. Oh, okay. Did you just envision a cell phone in your hand and then know exactly where you're going? He's like, yeah. Oh, okay, sweet. Yeah, All right, right, let's dive into some comments real quick. All right, catching up on the comments. Uh, that's the way to now. Oh, Thanks, great! Brother. Now we just blew you. our strategy. Ricky and Cesar are gonna, if we ever see them on a on a on uh, an All Stars leg. Uh, if we have, if they ever do, you know, like like a, a, a leg where they have Ricky and previous Cesar, runners. If if I get to the starting line in an All Star season and I see Ricky and Caesar next to us, I'm taking the leg money and going to the bar and having a good free day trip. <laughs> <laughs> so going to the bar having some cocktails oh man uh let me see those of us old enough to have used maps at- oh dude yeah yeah no like we didn't it was not weird to us to use maps at all and i didn't think about that that some of the teams might have been too young like some of the teams might not have had that experience yeah, growing dude, up. we're getting old man <clears throat> yeah crazy he's hurt I literally stopped. I went for a run. I went for a run earlier. I'm like, get to the hotel. I got an hour to the pod. To the pod drops. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go for a run. I'm feeling I'm feeling like I need to run. I get a mile and a half down. I brought Converse, so I've got no support. My knees were on fire. I'm like, yeah, no, I'm done running. I'm going to walk the rest of the way. So I did my nice two miles nice walk, in 30 dude. minutes. It was great. Yeah. It was great. Hey, man, as long as I can lift weights, you know, my joints are already out the window. I'm good. I'm good with that. That's that, that's called exercise to me. Um, so we're driving. We're driving over to the pit stop. We we know we're in first place at this point. I Like to an extent, obviously, you never know. You never really know. Uh, and man, we hit traffic and they underplayed that traffic. That was brutal. It was like I remember looking down the street and seeing five stoplights, all green. Nobody moving. 
so much traffic, so much traffic that if you met, cause they're all one way roads. That was another thing that was pretty, pretty downplayed this episode. Every road was a one way road. So if you missed, Oh, if you missed a turn, you have to go bumper to bumper, which you're moving at a snail's pace. Dude, and yeah. so like by this point, like when Juan and I uh, were in the car, so are Ricky and Cesar. They may have been 20 minutes, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, probably more like five. I don't really know the timing behind us. Uh, but that five minutes of traffic was like actually 20 minutes of real time. Bro, it was brutal. It was, I was true. like, this is going to cost us first place. Like, I was yeah. like, this. and I mean, because <clears throat> thus far, like you said, our nav has been on point. Traffic has not been in our favor. Like traffic has been against us almost every leg up until this point. It happened in Colombia. It happened almost in Chile a little bit. It happened here. And I was like, dude, come on. Give us a break. It yeah. must have been rush hour. I didn't. I mean, I don't remember what time it was, but it must have been freaking rush hour. There's no Rush-hour. time on the Amazing Race. There's race times. There's down times. There's flight times. And there's race times. <laughs> Did you just think of that? <laughs> big brain. Yes. Big brain chain. Big brain oh, chain no. over here. No, 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 no. <laughs> Just a, little guy, just, a guy, just a little guy up there with two symbols clapping them together, man. Every once in a while, he, every once in a while, he finds a beat. <laughs> oh my god, dude! But uh, it's funny. We run up to Phil, and somebody in the comments, like, there, I posted a video today. I, mean, I thought that was a great experience. Uh, uh, and I'm so happy they captured for the first, it. for the first win or only. Yeah, win. for the first, for the for the freaking finally for the get first win done, or only win. Uh, who knows? Only time will tell. But we get on the mat, and I, somebody commented, and they're like, dude, I swear. They're like, team always has their backpacks on. And I thought that was so Hilarious. funny. And I was like, I thought we always had to. I thought that was the rule. You know what, dude? I had a WAN experience, actually. Oh, geez. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I, I, dude, no. Like, I actually got a text uh, about this <laughs> just the other day. If you guys don't know, Juan gets a lot of texts. He gets a lot of texts about this. I mean, yeah, dude, team I, notifications. Who dude, I got a text. Team? I got a text the other day. It was from my mom, but I did get a text. Shout out, mom. Um, oh, big shout out, mama. Yeah. MB. Hey, mom. MB. Got a shout out. Got a, got a shout out, mom. Um, but yeah, she texted me. She's like, hey, so like, why do you guys have your backpacks on the whole time? And Ricky and Cesar are doing. I'm like, you know what? Juan and I talked about it from day, like from the first trip. We were like, hey, do we just leave our backpacks here? Here's where it becomes sticky. Somebody walks into that meat parlor, takes your backpack. Because we were in there and we looked back. Dude, do you remember this? We looked back at the meat guy. We're like, hey, man, can we leave our bags here? And he's just like. Lomo. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like oh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh. Wait, oh okay, you're, thanks, you're, brother. No, yeah, this is the butcher. You. This is the butcher, bro. This is the butcher. Oh, God. And, and he's going, he's, the butcher's just like smiling. He's like, ah. I'm like. Oh, so you're a bot too. All right. Um, <laughs> and then like, and then we asked, we asked production. We're like, Hey, can we leave our bags here? And they're just like, they're like, Oh, son of a gun, man. Everybody so, like, of them, the amazing race, but the racers is an NPC. You heard it here first. Yeah. <laughs> NPC, dude. Uh, um, so, so it, so, yeah, we're ba- not going to risk it. If what happens if our bags are taken one? It's over. It's done. I mean, we have our freaking passports on us. Thank God. But that's but it, dude. Remember, you enjoy the underwear you got on because you're keeping them. I, dude, I don't know, man. I think, like, I don't know the race well enough as far as some of these super fans do. But, excuse me, um, if your bag gets stolen, remember what they told us? You have to show up at the mat with your bag. If you do not show up at the mat with your bag, I do remember you, are not, you are not checking in to Phil. I do remember that, actually. Remember? That's, and they're like, when you see Phil, you can you can drop your bag. As long as we have eyes on your bag, you can drop your bag. Remember that's what they said. As soon that's as you see right. Phil, you can drop your bag. But if you show up to Phil without a bag because somebody just stole it because you were trying to figure out the name of some meat with a couple of NPCs running around, like, <laughs> like what, what, do you, what do you say? Like, yeah, hey, we, we left it someplace, and so that's why. Um, Yeah, no, I could do remember that. And I remember, like, thinking of, like, techniques, and I was like, what if I throw my bag in front of me or something? At the end of it, I was like, that's not going to save me any time. But obviously, Shane and I made sure we made it as hard as as, for ourselves as possible by packing every single thing we own in the the world. Uh, I I, I still have no regrets. I have no regrets. You know what? I had everything. (laughs) I had uh, had my laptop for Netflix uh, in there stowed away somewhere. Um, I didn't. That's a joke, everybody. Um, (laughs) But you think of it outside of electronics and things that you can, uh, you know, entertain yourself with, uh, we had it. Yeah, and and J- Justin talked about talks about this in his pod that if it gets really cold, they're gonna provide you something. We we didn't we. I mean, at least I I I I wasn't aware. So I actually packed for like Switzerland. 
I packed for worst case scenario. So Juan and I watched a good five seasons of the race, and that mm-hmm. was that was our knowledge base, right? And like we thought we had a, we, I mean, and we we did, we had a decent grasp of it. Um, yeah. But I mean, it took us six legs, not including mega legs. So mega legs are two, two, four. Took us eight legs to finally really win one. Yeah, uh, I guess I because Rick and Richard were. I don't, I don't. I don't know if that math is mathing, but all right. Uh, math very good. Uh, let's just. I'll just. <laughs> I'm a blanket statement here. I don't math very good. So. Uh, let's let's read some, let's read some comments. Uh, <laughs> as long as you have passports, you can continue. It, I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong, Ray. Uh, we could have kept going without our bags, but it's like Shane said. I think like the specific rules were: these are the bags you're starting with; these are the bags you're finishing with. Yeah. Well, of course, but like, then why was the rule? Once you see Phil, you can drop your bag. But like you had to show up I don't to fill with a bag. That, that'd be a question for Caesar or Danny, dog. These dudes, these dudes know they're amazing race. Ray, I mean, Ray seems like he he's pretty knowledgeable too. Old season's last team to arrive on a Nani limb would lose everything not on their body. Oh. Right. We could have huh. still done it. I mean, we would have stopped. Shane packed a miniature washing machine and fabric softener. Yeah. Fabric softener. Um, what else to do? Oh, Tide Pods. I had a few Tide Pods in there. Multi, the multi-purpose, by the way. A, if I wanted to clean some clothes. B, if I got hungry for a little snack. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say that? Why is that such a man? What do we, like? What is my? I mean, I'm not gonna say all women. I'm gonna say my wife specifically has a problem when I try to buy like the one and the, the three in one like uh, soap <clears throat> shampoo thing. I think I saw one the other day. It was like five in one. It was are, like, are, you, are you talking shady, about like hair, dude. body, like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Deodorant. Like, dude, that's all I buy. All the boxes, and she's like, "That's You're so all I gross. buy." I was like, "What the hell do you mean? It's still soap. Soap is okay. soap." I'm soap a dude. Soap. Yeah, hey, dude. Tony bought me. Tony bought me some. Uh, so, you know what? Not gonna name them. If you want, if you want, you want to sponsor the show. <laughs> you got to sponsor the show. We'll throw your name out there. Throw some money at. Anyway, you. you know this. This <laughs> bathing thing got our gifting feature to work. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, please hit the sub button. You'll help that uh, help that along. You really help us out. Uh, support, uh, you know, Beckham's college fund, uh, Sophia's uh, college fund. Uh, anyway, uh, but what was I saying? God, I got ADD. I said, dude, there's some mountains out there on my window right now. They're pretty cool. What was I? Did I forget what I was saying? What was I saying? Oh was man, like, I don't know. We get to the mat. Phil said, "Hey, you're number one." I was like, "Stop playing." We were. It was freaking. It was a blast. And then I, I mean, we we probably saw Ricky and Caesar like running down the thing. They were probably they, they were likely right behind us. Oh, we were talking about body wash, man. Yeah. Anyway, she bought me a body wash that's not three in one, and I'm like, "Hey, what's going on here?" Yeah, yeah. What do you think? What do you think? I got all the space in the world. I've literally used three in one since I was like ten. Look, listen, science. I don't want to do your job here, but you need a for a, a soap for hair, body, shaving cream, car, dish soap, and a little snack. I, like a cool million dollar scene, million dollar idea. Get I'll, get, I'll, I'll get Bill Nye on the phone right now for a second opinion. I'm sure he'll say the same thing. Mr. Science himself. I will I will invest everything I own right now in that business, dude. <clears throat> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, do we Hold have on. a sponsor today? Hold on. Do we have no. a sponsor? No, oh, nobody yeah, sponsors this. I know. I, I, I got I got I got sponsor sponsor show. We'll get you out here. Um, <laughs> you know, other than one. You know, maybe, maybe next leg. What do we got here? We got a few people popping in. They can tell it's probably uh, probably getting close to the end here. Ethan, oh, so happy for you guys winning a leg. You're my fave this season. Shane, where did the stash go? Ethan, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Uh, can't, we, we, we love you guys. We love you fans. Um, the stash, check back in November. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, my God, dude. Do not grow that thing out again. Why? That oh, mustache should come with a windowless van. Uh, oh, I'll tell oh, you because, what, dude. It's a, oh, it's a big military thing, but I've never gotten into it. Because why? But a windowless van is that is that what's in now? Because mustaches are in. So I'm just saying. Oh my like, god. Okay. Side note. Just because I saw, I found out about this today, and I I gotta tell somebody. Uh, oh, freak. I forget. Uh, dude, they're taking they're taking out a minivan, a minivan. Yeah. With a Hellcat engine in it. What? We're talking six point two V eight supercharged, putting out over eight hundred horsepower. I'm I'm about to become a minivan guy. I'm about to become a minivan guy. Check back, check back with me next year. I'm buying that thing. Yeah, man, I'm not a car guy, and you just sounded like one of those NPC guys that just starts <laughs> rifling off about cars. I don't know what you just said, but hey, yeah, man, dude. In a world where everything heard it here, electric, this minivan is going to be it. You heard it here first. Uh, Juan's getting a minivan, so give it up uh, to uh, yeah. Uh, by the way, hopefully you didn't drop a brand because if you did, uh, 
they better have thrown some, you know, thrown a couple. Mo- couple yeah, hey, throw some money at it. Throw some money. Yeah, at it. Uh, Ray, you're saying we don't have uh, gifts activated yet. We know we can't. Yeah, brother, uh, we're trying to figure it out. I we need 500 subs. We need 500 mm-hmm. subs right now. I think we're like trying. We're pushing through eight, like 80. So if you guys, if you guys watching, you guys really help us out. Hit the sub button. Hit the like button. Send it to your friends. Say hey, there's some goofy looking dudes on here that kind of make you laugh sometimes. We'd really appreciate it. Yeah, dude. Yeah, if our jokes won't make you laugh, just looking at us will do the trick for sure. Oh, I understand. Uh, and hey, get, go out and get you a shirt. I mean, hey, listen, go out and get you a shirt if, you, if, if you're going to like wearing it. It fits nice. <laughs> it looks cool. It's funny. It supports the pod. We're Again, like this is not a money venture for us. We're, we're just doing no. it because we, we have a good time doing this. No, certainly in the whole, we just want more people to wear uh, an avocado that's cut some some crazy I way. I don't know. I blacked out that episode. I don't remember how I cut it, but apparently Juan said I cut it some weird way. So yeah, go ahead, get, get some merch. And guys, if we, if we get uh, another thing that we're looking for, looking into is potentially, cause what we did this time is we bought a bunch of shirts and uh, now we're just selling them uh, essentially at price is what we uh, just pretty much just so just to get them out to people. But uh, what we might do is if, if the, if the shirts sell, uh, we might buy some, um, uh, buy some, do some more merch. Cause we have a couple yeah. good ideas. Yeah. I, at the leading contender for me right now is a shirt on the back without the back that says I'm the best at being humble. I think it'll okay. sell. Let's see here. Uh you don't get yeah, gifts. Show's not showing your personality nearly enough. Guys, I think my uh, I think I, I've heard this from, from quite a few people at this Arnold. point. And uh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, it, Arnold and, and Maya for sure. I've heard this from quite a few people. Uh I don't know, Juan. What what are your what's your take on this? And I'll give my take at the end. Uh we were locked in. We're like, I, I, I oh, would argue yes. that in a competition setting, Shane and I are not good at TV because we're just going to no. focus on what we got to do. We're not. We're Everything not, like in this episode, we were completely blind to. Yeah. No. Yeah, oh, yeah. 100%. And guys, like we're, we're on national TV. We're, uh, we're military members. Um, you got to conduct yourself in a certain way. So that's going on in the back of the mind. But really what was – what the thing was, was that like Juan and I, we are very mission focused. We are very task oriented. Like you give us a task, we need to get it done. Once that task is done, we move on to the next one. Like, so as, as much as like you guys heard Juan and I allude to it, uh, last pod was like, like, dude, fourth place, fourth place wasn't fun for us. Like we weren't having the most fun. Like we were miserable. Like, because we, we are, we are first place mentality. Like if you're not in first place, you're doing something wrong and you need to fix it. So the entire race, like as much as you, as I would love to, you know, be joking around with Juan and, and, and having, don't get me wrong. We had a blast the entire time. Oh, it was, it was incredible. Fun. Yeah. Time of my life. But, but once we're in the middle of a task, like we are, this is it. Yeah, dude, we're locked in. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I, I couldn't put any better than that. It's exactly what he said. And I dude, I had something to say and gone. Thank God it didn't happen in the race. Was it about your uh, nice hair day? Oh, happy haircut day, by the way. Oh, thank you, man. Gold pride, gold, gold medal. Gold, let's yeah. go. Yeah, that yeah, is yeah. not only a podium finish, that's first place. For those of you uh, that would like to know, um, try wishing Juan a happy haircut day. Maybe you'll catch on. That's all I'm saying. Uh, all I'm saying. Silver stuff for grabs. Uh, but okay, now I remember what I was going to say. Yeah, dude, fourth sucked. Second was somehow worse. Uh, it felt like I felt like a defeatist. I was like, we cannot shake this thing, dude. Like, it's right there. Thank God <laughs> it came this time. Our, uh, our Argentina, we won't forget it. Incredible leg, incredible experience. Regan Caesar gave us a run for our money. I think the stamina helped out a little bit. I think the fact that it was a mega leg, that's why I was excited for it. Um, is that you know, we we th- thank God we were we were a little more prepared. Uh, yeah, the stamina we were, definitely we didn't, we didn't feel tired. Stamina definitely worked out, and then Ricky and Caesar, like it definitely helped us win. And then Ricky and Caesar showed up four minutes and 30 seconds behind us. Yeah, 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 dude. Yeah, ah! let, me, let me borrow that teleporter every once in a while, sorry, Ricky and Caesar. Yeah, dude, <sighs> you guys are freaking incredible. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You, guys are, you guys are juggernauts, like I said. Like, I mean, we were. If you guys, all we did was prove that you were human, but we didn't slow you down whatsoever. Yeah, here we go. Hey, all I'm saying is, here we go, baby. Here we go. All I'm saying is, here I be an NFL we player at a 40 yard dash. We beat we Rod did. Gardner in a 40 yard dash. Yeah, you heard it here first. Go tell your family. Um, they don't build them like they used to. Jetpacks that they packed. See, I freaking knew it, dude. You guys yeah, are telling I me I packed a dishwasher or a laundry machine. You guys had jetpacks the whole time. I should have made you take that Hawaiian shirt off day one, dude. What? What did you say? Oh, the Hawaiian shirt to release the jetpack. But it was a bad joke. Let's just move on. No, uh, I, I, I was, I was pulling. That was in the comments, dude. You guys want to see this? Check this out. This is pretty cool. I don't know if it'll let you see it or not. Where are you? Uh, Albuquerque. A little quirkiness. On a layover. 
Oh, a little New Mexico action. Yeah, a little New Mexico action. Now I can't figure out my camera. All right. Did you run the leg well, of the previous episode the fastest? You started in the second group. Uh, oh, no, it makes sense. It would have been, it would have been interesting to see what would have happened if we started in the first group, but we would have won. We would have won. Like they, like they, we won it. We we left 15 minutes behind Ricky and Cesar. And then right. We, the caveat so. is that's assuming we would have ran the exact same leg, though. I mean, there's different factors at play. Yeah, true. Timing wise, we would have won. Yes. Yeah. But uh, you never know. Oh, one thing uh, to touch on potentially is uh, what happened behind us. Uh, what I'm going to say is that Juan and I had no idea about any of this until Wednesday night at 9.30. No clue. Uh, yeah, it's true. Yeah. Uh, no clue. Uh, all I'm going to say is, I, I mean, I love the six of those people to death. I At this point, we're all like, we've all become a big family, even in like at that point in the race. I love all of them to death. Uh, you see that we never hesitated in helping Rod and Leticia. I'm not a super fan. Uh, I don't know what the, what the line is on alliances and things like that. Shane and I's uh, take on that was, hey, if it doesn't, if it doesn't, derail our race and we're not for fighting for first or last we'll help whoever we're able to um right and it was just it, it was big shout out to uh derek and shalisa it was awful to see you guys go we love you guys um at this point everybody that leaves is a heartbreak honestly. yeah i do i yeah derek and shalisa got a little behind the scenes action uh we were they, they were our, our our everybody was our homies on this race but for uh, sure derek and shalisa they were our 6 30 a.m on the plane homies uh Let's just say we were asking for a couple of OJs at six thirty in the morning. A little, some or a little juice. companion with something to keep them company. Yeah, 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 with, with, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, hey. they were never, never not down. And so we we had a blast with those two. And for those of you that are thinking that six thirty is too early, uh, let me let you know a little something. Time doesn't exist on a plane and on the golf course okay? or on the race. That, those them's are the rules. Or on the race. Or on the race. It's two timeless things that just equal this nebulous area. So it's like, God, I please write a science book. Please write a book of science, dude. I want to hear your take on everything that happens in the world of physics. <laughs> Do you want you want to hear my take about gravity? Oh, please. You want to hear it? Yeah. You guys will have to tune in next pot. We're out of time. You guys <laughs> go. T- tune in next week uh, for the Lost Com Show. Hey, we love we love all of you. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, again, hit that sub button, hit the like button, share it with your friends, tell them there's a couple uh, funny looking guys. We'd we'd really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, like I said, definitely don't forget to sub. Thank you guys for sticking with us with this whole comment section thing. We're gonna, we promise we'll get better. We want to make sure you're all highlighted because we love you guys. This is why we do it. Uh, and definitely tune in next week for the next episode. I think it's going to be a good one. That's right, guys. Tune in next week. And I'll just leave you with this, uh, and we'll get into it next pod. That's fake. Thank God. Oh, so- <laughs> it's fake. It doesn't. It doesn't. It's fake. All right, guys. See ya. Safety first. See ya.